FreeMMOStation.com. Welcome to Free MMO Station. I am Skylant, and today we're checking out Clash of Avatars. It's going to be a browser-based MMORPG, I believe, or it might be an action RPG. I'm not really sure I'm going into it blind. Uh, this is by AMZ Game. Now, generally, I have not liked their games, in particular uh, because of their idle status, but that's something that I need to get over, kind of. Now we're going to go full screen here. Oh, God. Newbie packs. I just clicked on the store. Don't worry about that, guys. We're not purchasing anything here. Uh, generally, I don't like the monetization scheme of these type of games. Here, F11 for the full screen. Or F11 for the... Okay, you're not going to let me full screen? That's right. You're going to let me full screen. Anyways, so normally because their, uh, their microtransactions aren't exactly micro. Anyways, we got some newbie packs here. It's a new game. AMZ game publishes a lot of games, man. A lot of games. So that gives us work to do, but uh, we're going to go ahead and hit play. And I guess we just have the open alpha for the U.S. East. Connecting, connecting, connecting. Hopefully uh, this one will have less latency than the previous ones. And yes, I am doing a very casual first impression here because really, generally, these games are very bad, in my opinion, uh, because they are autoplay. And I do not like autoplay, but I will try to suffer through it for you guys because there are there is a group of people that really do enjoy idle games. But I do believe there's something different between idle and autoplay. There are differences. And I guess we could talk about it while we play this game. So... Choose male and female between these different characters. No customization whatsoever other than this. I like warriors, but the mage looks pretty cool. There's a priest. I guess we're going to go with the mage. Actually, that kind of looks feminine too, but let's go with a female mage. And let's, you know, put Skylin. Why not? Play game. And let's see what happens in this game. Clash of Avatars. What am I expecting of this? I don't know. Okay, so we got us ourselves a uh, isometric view. Let's start the adventure here. The game is going to auto play, so it is an idle game. Okay, um, what, first check. Let's see if we even need to click this. Do we need to actually click this, or will it click it for ourselves? Because the I think the previous game I did from this company, it just clicked it for for ourselves. Okay, so we did to actually click. It's really hard to read this text. Uh, it's probably even harder for you guys. Rough textures overall. The UI is not that great. Um, loading into different scenes is pretty awkward, too. Anyways, really cute 2D art, I have to admit, but this is going to be an idle game. Okay, and I'm going to try to review this in terms of other idle games. You know, how good they can be, I guess. Um, uh, you know, actually, look at this. Is this not even full 1080p? No, it's not. Anyway, so idle games tend to not look that great. They might have good 2D art, which this does. Um, okay, so an idle game basically plays itself and you have some strategic uh, choices that you can make. But basically, mechanically, the game plays itself. So it, it really, it just kind of looks like an action RPG, but you can't review it as an action RPG, okay? Uh, so for this, I'm assuming you can choose different classes. There's some, you know, there's that. And then you can choose different armors for your characters. Maybe you'll be able to choose different abilities later down the line. Uh, so let's go ahead and activate the skill. The, the problem with this, though, is that supposedly there's supposed to be a lot of depth strategically and tactically with how you set up your character, right? Like, uh, I don't know if you guys ever played with, like, the World of Warcraft talent calculator or in uh, League of Legends, you know, the item bi different builds you can make with the item builds. In this game, you don't have that diver- in the, well, I don't know about this game, but in this genre, you generally don't have that diversification of different builds and such. Uh, there are auto-playing card games that are kind of acceptable because even though you don't actually play it's, it's asynchronous gameplay, even though you don't actually play the cards and you don't actually play other people, it's a deck building game. So it's decks versus decks. So there's like strategy in that, right? You have to actually make a good deck. You have to do like a bunch of number crunching and, you know, a bunch of other stuff. But in these games, it's harder to uh, see the, 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 I guess, the enjoyment. Uh, maybe it looks cool, you know, in your peripheral. If you have a second monitor, you can have this game play it played in the side right there. I guess you could do that. However, this game still requires me to click around. And it doesn't really, it's not offering me that much choice. Like, there was barely any character customization. There was barely any classes. Uh, I still have to freaking click the quest. It's so annoying. And it doesn't seem like there's much choice with abilities. Look, our ability bar is super small. So what's up? What's up with that? And the game is playing itself, but it's loading super slow. Now, I know it's a mobile. I mean, well, it's not a mobile game. If this was a mobile game, I think more people would probably play it. But uh, it's a browser based game. And it's just even though I have really fast Internet, it's taking a really long time, at least to me comparatively, to load in some of these assets. I just don't understand. 
Now I'm kind of confused. The art doesn't seem to be the same quality for every character. This artwork is definitely very different from another character's artwork. It seems like they have multiple artists, or maybe they're pulling different resources from different games. For whatever reason, I don't know why, but there's just not a lot of congruency here <laughs> with the with the art style. See, like this. Like, this looks all kind of Play-Doh-y, very childish. But then, in some art, it's very, like, hardcore anime. Uh, very specifically anime. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on with this. I guess we're gonna make a weapon now. So we made a... Ah. We made a staff, I guess. We don't have any choices of what staffs we can make, so... Yeah, what's the point of a game that plays itself if... Like, it's completely linear. If there's no decision-making, if there's no strategy, then what is there to the game? That's that's my problem. Now, I know a lot of people, they're like, there's nothing wrong with autoplay. And uh, you're right, there's nothing wrong with automated features. But if the entirety of the game has an autoplay, like if it's completely linear, and then it does play itself, then that's a problem, okay? But there's lots of games. There's actually a lot that have auto features. I mean, Clash of Clans has, like, auto features. That's kind of part of the game. I'm just saying. Anyways, so, I mean, the art style, I mean, this could be, like, a good game. It probably could be a great idle game. I think if this was ported to mobile devices, and maybe it is overseas, maybe it is a mobile game and it's just coming as a browser game, uh, maybe browser games are way more popular overseas. I don't know, but for this idle game, I'm not really seeing it so far. Let's, like, I'm just kind of being thrown a bunch of, like, awards and stuff. I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess, sometimes. It makes my eyeballs feel good, but... I don't- I'm not really seeing the potential for the game here. Are you guys seeing the potential? Like, w we didn't see many classes, we didn't see much with the customization. I didn't see- wait, what do I even have for armor? Can I press I or anything for my armor? No, it just- it just keep, it wants me to just keep playing before I can really access anything. I don't even know if there's PvP. Anyways, I- I don't even know. What's the end game here? What's the point? I mean, there's lots of other idle action RPGs or idle MMOs that probably do it right. I don't know, I'm, I'm just now trying to get into the genre. Attempting to, but I think a lot of games are really missing the point. If you're gonna have autoplay, you need to actually have it autoplay, and then give us the features that we want to play. Like, if we want to have a, uh, like an armor customization, a talent tree sort of thing going on, like in World of Warcraft, a talent tree calculator, uh, then I want to do that. A lot of games, the way they do autoplay and idling is either deck building, or they do party building, which a, a lot of those games are actually deck building games, but they're really... I mean, the, the art style is decks, you know what I'm saying? They're cards, but you only get five of them, so it's not really a whole deck. Anyways, so there's party building games where you have to arrange parties and customize them, and then there's deck building games, which are cards, and this is almost always on mobile devices, because it makes sense to be on mobile devices. But uh, for browser, we actually expect a whole lot more. There's some really good action RPGs on the browser. Drakensang, for one, is probably the biggest one. In fact, we did a bunch of top tens. We slapped on Drakensang on there, so... Yeah, anyways, I don't... I don't know, that's obviously a chocobo. That is straight up a chocobo. Anyways, I think I'm done here. I think I kind of ranted off and the gameplay kind of speaks for itself. I can't... I, I literally have only been just clicking OK to just let, you know, the game's just been playing itself. I'm trying to... Let me, let me click around the menus real quick and see what we got. We have skills. Let me actually look at the skill tree. There might... Act, look, do what? What? There's like barely any skills here. What? I don't know, there might be a little bit of customization. I don't think so. Barely? It's not enough. It's not enough to make up for the fact that the game plays itself. So, I'm Skylant with Free MMO Station. This is a free-to-play MMO, but it is an idle MMO. And I'm trying to get better at reviewing games like this, but once again, I am unimpressed with this genre. I would like to play one that's actually good. If you guys have one, please let me know. I know there's a bunch on mobile. Um, I'm trying to get into those too. Yeah. I think I like Mabinogi Heroes. No, Mabinogi, Magin, Mabinogi Duel is actually incredibly good. That's my favorite. Hands down. Get it on Android, all that good stuff. Uh, however, it, it's in the shape of cards. You know, it's not actually like a 3D action RPG. Anyways, I'm done. I'll see you guys later.